Hey y'all, Jay Brick here, and welcome back to another LEGO Christmas set review. Today we have set number 6547924, Holiday Snow Globe with 90 pieces. Guys, this is the LEGO 2024 Barnes & Noble Make and Take Event uh, building set. This looks so awesome, and I cannot wait to review, guys, because we're actually getting a little small, like, basically make-and-take event, like, little set of a snow globe that's, like, the size of your, like, palm hand, which is so awesome, and this is going to look so good on anybody's, like, you know, display if you have one, or just, you know, on, like, a table, a desk, a nightstand, maybe even next to a chimney if you want. This is like the opportunities for this set is unlimited and you could put it anywhere that you want. And that's very, very cool that they actually have this. But this looks very, very awesome. I cannot wait to build it. And it looks so, so freaking awesome, man. So I cannot wait to check into the set, man. But further ado, let's get into the set, man. Firstly, what we have, we have the Lego Holiday Snow Globe uh, set name. We have the original Lego logo. Nothing really special. We just have a basically like a black background, so like no Christmas setting, which would have been nice, you know, but this is a little building event set, so, you know, they had to make it a bit like, you know, just the basic. But, you know, if I would have, that would have been very nice if they had like a little Christmas background, like the Lego City Christmas or like, you know, the Christmas Advent Calendar backgrounds or just even like the Lego Christmas theme as a whole. That would have been a really, really cool background if they actually had that. But then we just have the set number and the piece count, which this is actually a 90 piece set, which has actually pretty a pretty good piece to count. So it's almost like a little poly bag, like almost like a little set number, uh, almost like a little set at this point. So it's really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, that's really cool. What we do get, we have the little train in this little snow globe build, which is awesome. I cannot wait to check that out. That looks so awesome. This like little train that's like in the snow globe. We see little trees around it, some little snow, and then we actually have this dome piece, which, not gonna lie, I think this is, like, a rare, actually, like, not common piece to actually be found in a building event, so having that big, like, dome piece is actually, like, really, really cool. Then we actually have, in red, these flowers, which are also not common, so that's actually very, very awesome that we're actually, like, getting, you know, some non-common pieces in these building event sets which is really really awesome and then ended off with a little green wrapping around it which is pretty pretty nice another thing that we do got is the set number on the bottom if you guys are trying to get this set here's the upc if you guys are trying to get this set then we just have basically that this is a one piece and then we have the set number as well on the bottom now another cool thing is that they still have like the little 18 plus banner on the bottom with like the little you know mature line of lego sets that they have like these little you know little builds that are going down here and then just white so you know making it look very very you know fancy so that's actually really really cool but yeah that's the front of it the back of it is actually the lego bag itself uh where we actually have uh the lego logo right there which is really really cool uh then we have just the 10 plus ratings uh, and then we have the building toy, just basically building event packaging. Uh, and then we have like some more descriptions of where this uh, Lego set was actually made, uh, where the pieces were manufactured, which places, uh, what who manufactured even the bag as well, what printing, uh, what year it actually came out of, and all that kind of stuff. And then just says, you know, all copyrights, warnings, uh, choking hazard of like little small pieces that it could be in here. And that this just says when this bag or basically like this little set was created which year. So that's really, really cool. And then we just have the warning uh, that they usually put on the bottom. And that's really, really much it. There's nothing really on the back. That's like really, really cool. But really, really cool. I like at least that we get something cool, like a little instruction to may actually make the set look very, very nice. But further ado, boys, uh, let's get into this set and unbox it. So, let's actually open this thing up. So, we actually open it up, and it's actually in a Ziploc bag. So, it's one of these Lego Ziploc bags, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, so, you know, actually having a Lego Ziploc bag is kind of really cool. But, you know, you get, you're getting this in uh, one of those things. So, that's actually really, really cool. But we'll pull out the instruction real quick first. 
So we have the Lego instruction. And as I'm noticing, you guys can actually see there's actually some snow design, which I did not see actually on this packaging. So, hey, they actually did add something to this. And that's actually really, really awesome. Uh, they do also have like little lighting on the bottom to actually like make it, you know, presentable. But that is awesome. I did not expect them to actually add that. That is so awesome. That's super, super cool. And then we have the piece count and then just, you know, our generic instructions which is really really cool so hey that is really really awesome that we actually get in this bag uh but then we just basically get the pieces in here uh you guys can already see them uh that's everything that's in uh this little bag is just all the pieces now uh and as, as i'm noticing that is really really cool uh, we're actually getting a dome piece these aren't common and like actually kind of rare so kind of really cool but hey that's everything that we do get in this bag we'll dump it out and show it to you guys as well and that is basically everything uh that is in uh this bag so yeah that's everything that you get you get the instruction you get basically all the basically uh the lego bricks and you get the bag that's all what you get in the set but further ado boys let's review and build this set And here is the build, guys. Now, wow, what a build. This was very fun to do, very cool, and it has to be a very nice Christmas style of set. I really enjoyed this a lot, actually building it. 
Uh, and it's a really amazing set. And I am very awesome uh, at this set. This is just an amazing set. It looks so incredible. So that's really, really awesome. But the building experience was very fun. Uh, it was not much pieces. Uh, and you actually get it done in a quick amount of time. So that is a very, very well uh, made set. But further ado, let's actually get the extra pieces away and the main build itself. And we're going to go look at the instructions at themselves. But looking at the front of them, we got the Lego logo there on top next to the holiday snow globe with under it the set number itself and the piece count, uh, which is really cool to actually make this look like an official Lego set, actually. And also to actually have a set number to count it as an actual Lego set. So that's actually really, really awesome. Uh, then we have the UPC. Uh, I'll show it one more time if any of you guys are trying to get this set. That's really, really cool. Uh, and then I did say I do like uh, the decorations, how they actually added in uh, like little, how do you say, it? you can you can kind of see that little like sparkles to actually make it look like, you know, this is actually snows falling down from the ground uh, onto the snow globe, which is really, really awesome. Another thing I really like about this image is that they, uh, basically like glow up this snow globe to basically like you know make this the main thing about it which it is so it's actually really nice that they actually did that and i also like how they have the 18 plus box art style on these instructions uh it looks very very nice it's a really cool feature that they added to the set so it's very very nice of how it actually looks and makes it look very simple and it just makes it you know look actually very nice on uh having actually physical instruction for this little building event so that's actually really really cool and then also we have a stock image um of this build so that's actually really really cool and it looks very very nice now flip into the back we just basically got our piece counts uh and then we also have the you know the lego website if you guys need any support for that uh so that's actually really really cool but going through the instruction it is just a generic lego instruction there's not very much going on with this uh you guys can see you'll have to, you'll be building the train you'll be starting off actually building the snow globe uh and then actually you'll be uh building the exterior and interior of the snow globe and then your last instructions actually putting up the dome and then actually having the set itself built so that is very very nice of a set i like that a lot with this instruction uh, and actually getting physical instruction is a good feature of having this as well. But now getting into the set itself, uh, first thing that you do get is that you do actually get a couple extra pieces with this uh, set. So if you do lose like, you know, a couple, uh, you know, I don't know, some studs, uh, they actually have like all the studs color. Then they also have this one. Uh, and then they have all the bricks as well. So that is very, uh, very nice that they actually have, you know some studs here so if you're actually missing some pieces in the set then hey you actually have some extra pieces so that's very very nice but now take a look at the set this is a very very nice snow globe uh it looks super nice and i love the little like bulb actually having this that you can actually open this up and close it looks super super cool but take a look at the exterior we have this nice little flowers here with like a little basically like a little button that you actually would press and then actually the snow would actually go around which is super cool so the the detail on this is crazy and that's what i gotta say these little sets they add so much detail to it to make it actually look like realistic like actually this is the button that you press and then the snow actually falls around in this train so that's very very cool uh, but I do like how actually they're using the red leaves as that. And then they have the orange uh, thing that you can actually, you know, uh, actually stick on a stud. So that is very, very, very cool. Uh, I do like actually how the entire thing is green. Now you will see on the bottom it is blue because these are going to be the pieces that actually stick on to this little plate over here. Uh, so that's actually why they we have like three blue and then six of the yellow ones as well. So that's very, very nice. But I do like how this entire thing is like smoothed out uh, with, you know, just green. And it looks very, very slick as well. I like that a lot with this set. And then on the back, uh, we actually have the whole feature of this set, actually how this works and how this actually goes off. Uh, because there's actually a Technic 
a piece in here and i can actually take this dome off to actually show you guys uh they actually use these technic axles uh to actually connect to this dome which also have these connectors which basically they go onto this uh to make it actually connectly full in uh this is actually take apart so you can actually take this off now sometimes actually when you uh close this dome actually uh you might actually get the problem where you know this might actually like come off sometime uh but it doesn't happen as often you will just have to, like you know uh stick on the pieces really really um hardly so that they actually don't fall off um as much but that is the out uh the outside we do have you know the front as i showed and then i do like the little smooth edges to actually make it look like a little smooth you know snow globe that's very very nice and then the technic features on the bottom uh the bottom of the you know where you actually stick on the plate and then the ta uh, technic stuff now actually when you open this up that's actually where it's very very cool it actually reveals the train so that's awesome that we actually get this train uh with it i'll actually show this off the set in uh the four you know directions so we have the front of it we have the side of it uh we have the back of it and then we have the other side as well and then if you guys wanted to take a look at the bottom uh, or even the top of this set. This is how it actually it would look on top of this, actually. Now, actually, cool thing is that you can take off this train uh, as well. And if you wanted to, you don't even have to have this train. If you wanted to, you could actually put something else on here uh, to actually make this go through. But that's really, really cool. And actually, uh, we'll take a look at the train first and then continue off. But here is the little train that you actually get in the set. I do like how they use these dark olive green uh, studs as the wheels. And then we have the front engine. Uh, we have that. And then also we have the glass as well uh, where the conductor is. And then we have the nice red, which I like how they actually have this entire thing in red. Uh, looks very, very, very cool. But that's a very nice angle. Uh, the f back of it, nothing really much. And then, you know, the other side's the same. And then the front's actually the train itself. But it's a very nice train. Uh, made it very, very small. Now, another cool thing is, in this, we do actually got some trees. So you guys can see we have, like, some little shrubs over there. We have a little tree over here. We have a little tree over here. And you can actually take all these off. So if you actually wanted to, like, rearrange the tree settings for the snow globe, you can actually do that in any way that you want. Uh, now, also, we have the roadway uh, where actually the train will go on to. Uh, and I want you to show that off because you can actually just put a minifigure here if you want to. Uh, you could actually put like Santa Claus if you wanted to on this thing uh, or an elf or any other uh, like mini style build if you really prefer that. That's actually really cool about this. So the customizable features on this set is endless. You can add so much to it. And just change this out. So it's like you you don't have to have just the train. You can actually just take this all off and then make your own, you know, little uh, snow globe, which is really, really cool. So I like that. Uh, but then actually this is also take apart. So you can actually take this entire plate off, um, which I will actually show that off. Uh, so if you actually wanted to, you know, have like a different building so I can show you, you can actually take this off and then... If you wanted to add another little, basically, you know, disc piece for Lego, uh, you can actually do that and then actually, you know, close it back up. So that's actually really, really cool. But you could put, easily put it together, put it back on, snap on the pieces, put on the train, and then close up the snow globe. And that is really much it from the set. Now, actually, another cool thing about this is this dome piece. I have not seen a lot of sets actually add this in for a small scale, firstly. But, like, I know big sets have these, but it is just crazy having a big dome piece. Uh, and actually makes sense because this is a snow globe. Uh, it is just crazy that we actually get this entire big piece. So that is very, very cool. And I know these actually go for a lot now because, you know, they're not in much sets. But actually getting it in a cheap set like this is totally worth it so if you guys are actually wanting this set just for this piece it is worth it so i would actually recommend uh getting the set and then you can actually just uh put on the dome piece back uh close up the snow globe and boom there it is it looks it, it's a very nice set it's it's small but it's very nice and just actually putting on display 
it's just a nice feature. So I actually, I like this a lot. Uh, and as I said, you can put this anywhere as you want. So that is very, very cool. But yeah, guys, uh, that's going to have to do it. That is the holiday snow globe set, the Barnes & Noble free building event. Super cool that we actually got this for this year's uh, 2024. I know Barnes & Noble has done other building events uh, in the past, like Harry Potter and some other sets as well. So that's actually really cool that we actually got a little snow globe. That's actually really cool, really cool. So I actually uh, like the set a lot, and it's a very cool piece uh, to actually have in your collection. And there's a ton of cool pieces in the set, uh, such as, you know, the two red uh, flower pieces, which I only think they actually come in, like, the flower sets, uh, plus the dome that I've mentioned twice already in this video. But yeah, guys, uh, that's it for this thing. It's a really cool set, really cool, uh, you know, way to actually get this. And it's just very, very fun to build and actually a really cool gift uh, for this year, Christmas. So if you want to get this, give this to anybody, uh, this is a really, really good set to actually give out to them. But yeah, guys, that's going to have to do it. Don't forget, if you guys are new, to comment, like, and subscribe. It will help out the channel a lot. Don't forget to put on those post notifications so you don't miss another LEGO review. But yeah, guys, we're also trying to hit 2,500 subscribers, so it would mean the world to me if you guys can actually try to help us out reach that goal. But yeah, guys, that's going to have to do it, and I'll see you guys later for another LEGO review. See you guys.